Hi everybody, it's Mr. Rav here from Colourbox Montessori School. I do hope you're all well and are keeping safe. Um, today's story time is a very special one because I'm going to be reading a story written by my friend Alice Jago. Um, Alice is a very talented children's author and uh, her story is called Merrin Mouse's Weather Tale. I think it's absolutely brilliant and I hope you enjoy it too. One autumn night, three hungry mice are caught in heavy rain. It's oh so wet, my boots are full, the youngest mouse complains. Oh no, my sweet, her mummy says, but don't you want your tea? I think I see an apple core just there behind that tree. Our hungry little Merrin doesn't mean to be so rude, but why must she get soaking wet while looking for their food? She sniffles and she snuffles and she screams. I just might drown. I wish right now that I could be a bunny underground. I quite agree, says Mummy Mouse, a cosy place to be. But think of this, my Merrin sweet, a seal pup loves the sea. For they are most content when it's as wet as wet can be. Now, what if you were one of them? splashing quite happily. So little Merrin shuts her eyes and with each drippy drop imagines playing in the waves and soon she cannot stop. This rain is fun, she cries with glee, splish splashing in the street. How wonderful, says Mummy Mouse. Now let's go dry your feet. One winter's day, three hungry mice are out in frosty snow. It's oh so cold, young Merrin moans. I cannot feel my nose. Me too, my dear, her auntie says. But don't you want your tea? This carrot looks a tasty one. Here, help us pull it free. Our hungry little Merrin doesn't mean to be so rude. But why must she get freezing cold while looking for their food? She whimpers and she wobbles and she wails. I need my vest. I wish right now that I could be a robin in its nest. I do agree, says Auntie Mouse. That does sound rather nice. But think of this, my little one. A polar bear loves ice for they are most content when it's as cold as cold can be. Now, what if you were one of them roaming quite happily? So little Merrin shuts her eyes and as she starts to freeze, imagines lots of cuddles with a cub or even three. I love the cold, she cries with glee while bounding through the snow. How marvellous, says Auntie Mouse. Now, sweet, it's time to go. One bright spring day, three hungry mice are caught out in a gale. It's oh so windy, Merrin cries. I'm going to lose my tail. I'm sure you won't, her daddy says. And don't you want to eat? Let's go and help your brother pick some tasty stems of wheat. Our hungry little Merrin doesn't mean to be so rude, but why must she get blown about while looking for their food? She grumbles and she grizzles and she groans. I almost fell. I wish right now that I could be a tortoise in its shell. I might agree, says Daddy Mouse, but it must be a squeeze. And think of this, my little one, a seabird loves the breeze, for they are most content when it's as windy as can be. Now, what if you were one of them flying quite happily? So little Merrin shuts her eyes and with each gusty breeze, imagines soaring through the air whilst heading out to sea. This wind is fun, she cries with glee, zipping this way and that. That's fabulous, says Daddy Mouse. Now quick, let's catch my hat. 
One summer's day, three hungry mice are out in scorching sun. It's oh so hot, young Merrin moans. I think I've burnt my tongue. I doubt you have, her grandpa says. And don't you want your tea? I think we've got enough of these. Now, can you carry three? Our hungry little Merrin doesn't mean to be so rude, but why must she get boiling hot while looking for their food? She stutters and she splutters and she shrieks. I'll surely bake. I wish right now that I could be an otter in a lake. I so agree, says Grandpa Mouse. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? But think of this, my little one. An elephant loves the sun, for they are most content when it's as hot as hot can be. Now, what if you were one of them, plodding quite happily? So little Merrin shuts her eyes and with each wave of heat, imagines crossing deserts with impressively large feet. I love the sun, she cries with glee while stomping through the sand. Oh, jolly good, says Grandpa Mouse. Now, could you lend a hand? One autumn day, four hungry mice are caught in heavy rain. I don't like to get this wet, the youngest mouse complains. I once agreed, says Merrin Mouse, but I don't feel that now. The rain can be a lot of fun. Come on, I'll show you how. Well, that is the end of our story for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and a big, big thank you as well to Alice for letting us share her story. Um, if you did enjoy uh, Merrin Mouse's Weather Tale, then um, please do check out some of uh, Alice's things on Amazon. This book is available to buy. Um, but until next time, a big, big thank you and take care. And as always, stay safe. See you next time.